Welcome to the Corp Vault channel. In this video we will discuss virtual server agent install for VMware backup using Convault. Please like, share, comment or suggest. Subscribe for more videos and you can follow us on Instagram. Before we proceed with VMware backup configuration using Convault, Let's review the VMware setup for better understanding. The environment is made using VMware, VMVisor, in other words Hypervisor version 6.5. As you see, we have a vCenter with two VMs. This is where you create, and manage the VMs. To access the VMs, we are using VMware, Remote Console version 12. This is VMware ESXi. VMware vCenter Server Appliance Virtual Machines From here you see the vCenter, and VMs created under it. Storage Shows the data store created on this ESXi server. You can create new data store, if needed. Networking Shows the VM networks configured, and available on this ESXi host. As a backup admin, you need to know if change block tracking, CBT, is enabled on the VMs. Right click on the VM. Select edit settings. Edit settings window for the selected VM. Select VM options. Expand advanced. Select edit configuration. Here you see all the configuration parameters listed. Look for CTK enabled parameter. If the value is true, it means CBT is enabled. You can add or delete parameter using these options, but ensure the VM is turned off before you make any changes. Let's install Convault Virtual Server Agent on one of the VM which will be acting as proxy. The first method we will discuss is push install. Before we proceed, we need to create the client server entry. Right click on client computers. Select New Client. Add New Client Window. From under File System. Select Windows, as our VM proxy is a Windows 2012 server. New Windows Client. Client Name. Enter the server short name, that will be displayed under Client Computers. Host Name should be, Fully Qualified Domain Name. Ensure the DNS resolution is working as expected, that is name to IP, and IP to name, is resolved properly. As this is not a decoupled install, these options are not necessary. Click Next. Review the summary. Once done, click Finish. Client server entry is created successfully. We can now push software on this client computer. Right click on the client computer. All tasks. Add Remove Software. Select Install Software. Installer Wizard. We have already discussed the options in our other video, so we will proceed quickly, mostly by selecting default options. We will be selecting Virtual Server, File System Core, and File System Agent packages. If you have noticed, dependency packages are automatically selected when we selected virtual server. For the other video link, please check the suggestion above, or check the video description. Review the summary. Once done, click finish, to start the install software job. The install software job is seen in the job controller. If all go well, the install software would finish successfully. But, if something go wrong, you will see the error. Like in our case, we have dependent binaries missing, so Convault software automatically started the download updates job. Please note, using push install method, you will not know what components are being installed on the server, so, for this video, we proceed with manual install, and check what components being installed, for the selected packages. Before we proceed with manual install, we have to delete the client entry that we created. 
Right click on the client computer. All tasks. Select, delete. On the delete confirmation pop-up window, click OK to continue. Enter confirmation text as shown. Once done, click OK. The server entry is removed from the client computers. Let's log into the VM, on which we will be installing virtual server agent. If your LAN connection is faster, you can go for remote access for install, but if it's slow, copy the software locally for install. Browse to the location where the software dump is located. Right click on the setup. Select, run as administrator. From the language selection window, please choose appropriate language, and click next. Please read and accept the license agreement. Choose the installation type. Install packages on this computer. Let's select packages to be installed on the server. From virtualization. Select, virtual server. Select Microsoft Windows, you see the VSS provider, and VSS hardware provider packages are automatically selected. Select, file system core, and file system agent. Software checking for installed prerequisites. From installation path, you can choose to leave the default path, or change it to a desired alternate location. Whichever you choose, ensure enough free space is available on the selected drive. Configure roles. Configure the laptop backup is not applicable for us. You can choose to configure this VM as a network proxy. We leave default selected option unchanged, to configure process manager shortcut. Installation summary. Review the selected packages. Click more information. For the packages we selected, we need Microsoft Visual C++, redistributable package and they are automatically selected for install. Click next, to start the installation. Pre-install validation, is like pre-checks. Pre-checks successful, preparing installation. Install prerequisites. Preparing install. Acquiring Microsoft Visual C++ packages for install. Installing Visual C++ packages. Installation progress. Preparing Convault agent install. Acquiring file system core. Acquiring file system. Acquiring virtual server. Installing file system core. Installing file system. Installing virtual server. Extracting zip files are ideally, Convault updates, or hotfixes. Installing hotfixes. This process would take time to complete, so please be patient. Pre-configuring Windows File System Core Pre-configuring VSS Provider Pre-configuring VSS Hardware Provider Pre-configuring File System Agent Initializing Configuration, and this may take some time. Network Configuration If there is a firewall between the ComServe, and this machine, you can use these options to set up, a one-way, or a two-way firewall, between the ComServe, and this machine. Client Computer Information Client Name, is the name that is seen under Client Computers. Host Name should be fully qualified Domain Name, and is primarily used to establish connection. Provide the ComServe fully qualified Domain Name, try avoiding adding IP, unless FQDN is not working for which you need to check and fix, DNS issues. Client Certificate If client establishes successful connection with the ComServe, the client certificate is automatically obtained. In scenarios where it fails to obtain automatically, you can create a temporary certificate, from Control Panel, Client Certificates, and use it here. Running Communication Daemon, to establish connectivity with the ComServe, Getting client configuration from ComServe. Install requirement check with ComServe. ComServe authentication. Provide an user credentials, who has install privileges, or with master privileges. Getting client configuration from ComServe. 
Install requirement check with ComServe. Additional settings. If you are aware of the details, then go ahead and select appropriate values. If unsure, then skip it, as these can be changed or modified later. Setting SQL Server Memory. Installing updates. This process might take a while to complete, so please be patient. Post install configuration for Windows File System Core. Post install configuration for Virtual Server Agent. Starting Convault Services. Registering client with ComServe. Installation and configuration completed successfully. Let's launch Process Manager. General tab. This tab provides client details and configuration details. These details will be helpful while troubleshooting backup issues. Services tab. If you notice, we have not selected Media Agent during install, but, you see a Media Agent service, called, Convault Block Level Replication Service installed, and configured. This will help replication of VMs, or data store, etc., to one or more destination, vCenters, or ESX clusters. Process tab, shows the Convault processes running on the server. Let's switch to ComServe GUI. We see the client computer is successfully configured, and can be used a proxy for virtual server agent backups. We will end this video here. In our next video, we will continue with configuring virtual server for VMware backup. Do subscribe to our channel, if not already done so. Do subscribe for more videos.